Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerald here. Amonkhet has been good to us on Arena, and it's been good to me because I get to play a deck that I hadn't played too much since it was in Standard. This is Merfolk, but as you can tell by the name, uh, there's, a, there's a little twist to it. It gets to run Collected Company. Now this may not be the final version of the list. I actually have a few cards that I'm still debating myself, uh, but as our one drops, we only have six because it's a company deck, so the closer you can get to three, generally the better value you get out of company. Uh, but we have two Benthic Biomancers and four Kamina Speaker. We have four Merfolk Trickster, our instant speed Merfolk. Uh, we have Silvergill Adept and Merfolk Branchwalker for card draw and potential card draw. We have four Merfolk Mistbinder and four Mirror Regery. This is one of the Lord decks in Historic, along with, say, Spirits, for instance. Uh, we have Kapala to protect our creatures, make sure they don't get targeted by Shock or Bolt or whatever. Um, it's Historic, so Bolt. We have uh, four Water Trap Weavers, as you do, just to try to keep the opponent and uh, tap them down. Now, I could put in more Jade Light Rangers over Biomancers, but especially since I have lands that come in tapped with some consistency, so maybe more Jade Light Ranger is actually good here. Uh, but for right now, I only have two. And then, of course, the four Collected Company. There are 23 lands in the deck so that we can hit four men on turn four pretty consistently, without any ramp, mind you. We have five islands and two forests. Uh, most of what our deck does needs blue mana, but Kamina Speaker specifically needs green mana on turn one, so we have to have some number of forests. There aren't any fetch lands, though. You'll notice no Fable Passage. Uh, we have four Breeding Pool for Hinterland Harbor. Uh, we have two, four Temple of Mysteries, <laughs> there we go, uh, comes in tap, so it, it sort of undermines our turn one plays a little bit, and then four Unclaimed Territory. The idea behind the deck is that it's supposed to be, it's not the most aggressive, it's not the most aggro of creature decks, uh, but it does get to play the mid-range game decently well, partially because it has Collected Company, so of course, uh, but partially because you just stack on enough Lords, and then those creatures get big enough that they can swing through anything. If they can't, you use Water Trap Weaver to tap them down. Uh, because I'm playing company, I'm not incentivized to play something like Umori as the Companion, or uh, uh, Tempest Caller, I believe, the, the four mana that taps down all their creatures to give you that lethal swing. So there is something of a trade-off, but generally this will be a better card. And so, Let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's let's see how this goes. But first, I have a few packs I'd like to open. Eeny, meeny, my. You know what? Let's try Almond Cat Remastered, and I'll open a pack between games, or at least between victories. Okay, so this is actually my first pack that I've opened. I've only spent wild cards on Coco. Glorybringer is a pretty good one. That seems okay. I know Dragon decks with Sarkon get to use that. Yeah, that's that's all right. So I guess we'll move on to getting some games in. Let's try it out. Coffee. Lots of coffee. Entirely too much coffee. No such thing. Sir Shapti of Nazareth. <laughs> Interesting name. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we'll play out the Biomancer first, Adept, and... That'll give us time to make our decision about Breeding Pool. We're probably going to have to shock it in because we have Water Trap Weaver. Ooh, okay. Aha! There we go. Give my opponent the hello. Oh. Everybody on here seems to have a pet except for me. That's a shame. Alright, so we haven't seen creatures yet. Uh, so we're going to adapt Reveal Water Trap Weaver. And then draw another land. Okay. I guess I'll swing for one. Yes, I could have attacked first. And I should have attacked first to threaten the ability of Biomancer. That's just a just a minor misplay on my part. Banishing Light. Okay. But this puts more power on the board when you have Lord in hand. Um, I think it just makes sense to jam the Regery here. And then hit for three. So this, I'm guessing, is the Enchantments deck. Just from what I've seen, maybe we'll see some Shrines coming out. Yep, okay, there we go. Called it. 
called it. Oh boy. Well, these weavers don't, or water trap weavers don't do very much then. Um, okay. So I guess we just crowd the field up. Let's see, we have a, a regery. So I can go Shock, Murfug Mistbinder, Untap Island. Um, Biomancer, untap. Oh, I should have done forest. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Speaker, untap. Harbor, and I swear, if they have Wrath of God, if they have White Man or Wrath of God, we're just in trouble. At this point, I kind of just want to tap something random down. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, we need two mana for the ability of Biomancer. So we won't get to use that. Alright, so we have lethal next turn. And something like Banishing Light won't be enough to get the job done. Draw, discard. If they find White Man or Wrath of God, we're just in trouble. Or Black Man up on Two's Last Reckoning. That would be good, too. Oh, what is that? Oh, Return. Okay. Uh-oh, there it is. I called it. I didn't want to, but I did. And that's that's one of the weaknesses to playing out your hand like that, unfortunately. I I didn't mind when they didn't represent that they had the second white mana, but I did make a mistake. I'm I misplayed. I I extended too far. We can try to make up for it, but uh, we'll see. Uh-oh, there's red for the Red Sanctum. Oh, okay. It is historic, so they get access to all of them. Alright, let's just hit them as hard as we can. Although, notice that this is that they gain two life for each shrine. Ooh, okay, so we are well behind now. So they'll go up to nine here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I goofed. I goofed. I played out way too much of my hand. Oh, they dropped Languish. Oh, because they had Languish. Okay. You know what? You win 0% of the games that you concede. <laughs> we'll just keep it going. Oh, uh-oh. Well, now we kind of have to play out our hand. At least a little bit. Alright. Yeah, we're in trouble. A little bit. We're in a little bit of trouble, folks. I'm in danger. Alright, what is this? Rest in peace. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That's a really good card to have in Historic. To help keep, uh, let's say, degenerate decks in check. One sideboard card that you could play in here is, uh, the Cycle but it also lets you destroy three enchantments. That card would be really good as a sideboard card for Historic, if you're running Merfolk. Worst case scenario, you cycle it, and so it's never dead in your hand, but best case scenario, you get to do that. Oh. All right, that's game. Now we can't, we can't beat that. Yeah, at that point, it's done. Alright, so that weakness to the deck, playing your creatures out too heavily. Um, I should have... Well, I, I'm trying to remember what the board state was like if I... if I was supposed to... how many creatures I was supposed to hold back to still have lethal through a banishing light uh, on one of my lords. Hmm. Yeah, I certainly... Yeah, I, I played too much out. That's it, I played too much out. What I should have done is, instead of just focusing on playing the whole hand out, counted to see how many I needed to get through, even if I'm not playing around Wrath of God, because they only had one white mana. Uh, I still should have played around more Banishing Light. I already knew they had that. So counted to see how much I needed to have lethal through one removal spell. All right, we'll keep this. Play the temple first, of course. The tap land with no one drops in hand. Ooh, okay, oh no, oh no. 
Uh, okay, well, this isn't going to be an actual game. Oof! Was the Roblox? Oof! Okay, um, whale. Oh, you know, wait. Surely there's not a deck in the format that actually does that. Surely. Like, a uh, that actually wants to go down all the way. Uh, they're still playing, so I'll play it out too, but dang. Yeah, we'll absolutely keep that. Okay. This, this feels kind of... This feels kind of bad, but we're doing it. I guess we'll count this. Not, not really, though. Oh, <gasps> that's why! Okay, no, 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 we'll count this. This is a real deck. This is a real deck, folks. Still, still, why, could, why go down to zero? Shouldn't you just go to one? I'm not sure what sense that makes, to be honest. Uh, but, okay. Never mind, then. Never mind, though. Okay, okay. Let's just vomit out our hand real quick. It's a very technical term. Vomit out your hand. Okay. Alright, so we play this, and then untap the territory. And then play this, and untap the temple. And untap doesn't matter. Sure, why not? Ooh, heck yes. Blue. Green. Alright. You. And you. Alright. And with the mana still floating. Alright. Does it matter? No. Fire! Alright, so we have way into lethal. Uh, if they had found not Treasure Hunt, but the other one, then we could have done, or they could have done something. Ooh. Uh, zombie Infestation, I believe, is the two mana enchantment. Okay, so I, I don't like mulling, mulling down to zero. I don't think that there's a reason for doing that, ever. Uh, but mulling to one, I can see. It's like Vintage Dredge, where you have to mull to Bizarre Bagdad. Well, they kind of did that here. Jeez. Uh, That's the first time I've seen anyone mull anywhere near that close and not immediately concede. Alright, so like I said, let's open another pack. And uh, uh, we'll do Thrain, the Throne of Eldrain. There's two cards, two rares, for which I'm looking. That is not one of them, but that's pretty good. That one's certainly more playable than the two I'm looking for. Castle Ardenvale and Araya, I believe. The black, 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 two, three, legendary. Uh, anyway, that's okay. I have another Ginger Brute. I have a deck I can throw that into. You'll see that later on. And then, oh, how is this only my first Mystical Dispute? Also a good sideboard card. We're just, we're gonna build into the sideboard for this deck. Uh, but let's try to play another one. Uh, yes, Miro Regery is silly. It's one of the best lords in the format right now. I guess, so Spirits has two lords. Um, one of them that affects flying creatures, so not all Spirits benefit from it, but the vast majority. Um, and then, let's see, we have Elves has one, two, three lords, I believe. Clan Caller, Archdruid, and Imperious Perfect, I believe. So Elves has a lot of them. Archdruid being the best. Uh, Archdruid being the actual best lord in the format right now. Bad tech. Well, you know, there's the Goblin Lord that doesn't actually give plus one, plus one. It gives haste and reduces the cost. And in the context of goblins, specifically, that might actually be the best one. Oh, Muxus. That card. That card is stupid. So, uh, fun fact, no matter what the mana cost is for it, for Muxus, it's going to be playable in uh, 
vintage and legacy because of Goblin Lackey. If I see one more legacy Goblins deck, try to play the two mana one one double strike that double that does goblin lackey. <clears throat> okay. So, huh. Fair enough. It's four. Um I'll play the Lord out, actually. I strongly suspect we're going to see a bunch of enchantments thrown onto probably Gargoyle. Well, no, Gargoyle doesn't have flying. Ornithopter does. This gains flying, but on its own. Probably put it on the Ornithopter instead. No Spirit Dancer yet. Oh, never mind, it's Tempered Steel. Crap. Crap. Okay, so then we have to do the, uh, we have to do the Water Trap Weaver here. Alright. Uh, there's no point in doing that. No point at all. Yada yada. Ooh, there it is. There's Tempered Steel. Now we're in trouble. We are in a heck of a lot of trouble. Alright. So we can... let's see. I have the mana that I can play Mistbinder, Tap Down, Trickster. Tap Down with Trickster. I mean, it's fair. I get my lords, they get theirs. That's only fair, I suppose. Alright. Thirteen. I'm trying to put enough pressure on them. Well, we'll see. We'll see. They can hit me with a a three. It'll be it's a two four. It'll be a three five, and hold back the three six with enough mana to buff it. Or they could just go all aggro here. I don't know that I agree with that because I have lethal, but I don't know what all is in their hand. Maybe they have settle. Nope. Nope. Can't attack unless you control. Four. It can block. It can't attack. Begin of your end step, create a treasure... Ah, uh, okay. For each non-creature token that died this turn. For a non-token creature. How did I... Oh, well. Boom. Okay. Good. Good times. Crap. Uh, okay. So we'll try this out. There's a speaker. Do I... I do I need to shove the speaker here? We are in a pickle, folks. We are in a pickle. I do. I, I need to put the speaker down to the bottom. Okay, let's try this. Weaver seems okay. Yeah, alright. So, trade one. Alright, what you got? Aha! Here we go, okay. Good, good. Alright. I mean, they know what's on top of my deck. They know what I'm about to do. And they can deal 8 this turn. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, so shouldn't they do that? I may be missing something. Shouldn't they do that after attacks? Aha, okay. Well, you know, play the sparring construct first. Okay. Okay. So, if I tap down gargoyle. I can swing such that they have to block with both of these. Yeah. So, hmm. 
they can actually, if I attack with the misbinders, if I don't attack, if I attack with just with these, they just don't block and then they win. I have to attack with at least one misbinder. I actually have to attack with both misbinders. Yeah, there we go. It's, they can survive this though. All they have to do is block both misbinders and then they win. I need them to not suffer a heart attack and then. Alright. Alright. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, there wasn't a way out from that, unfortunately. We were just one point shy. Alright. Oh well. It's, it's fine. <laughs> what can you do, I guess? What I could have done is scribe the Water Trap Weaver down and hoped for like a, a Coco, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I, I need to play better. Is the, That's the actual answer, I need to play better. Alright, so we'll go Merfolk, play out the Biomancer. We don't even have something like a, a Reedry to save it for anyway. With multiple Reedries, you can actually net mana. Oh boy, that's fun. Um... I can trade a Biomancer thanks to Mistbinder. And I sort of need to get the clock going anyway. Let's see. Can we do it? Okay, we got through. Um, this is not looking great. I can already tell. Here comes the Lord. Here comes Warchief. No, Wily Goblin. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Dun, dun, dun! Okay. Huh. Alright. So let's attack just with the Biomancer first. We can threaten the ability. Alright. Not doing it. Going to go... It's not as much power on the board, but I can go Adept Speaker rather than Branch Walker Speaker, which has a chance of being bigger. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Alright. And take the 3 3. Alright. Here goes nothing, folks. Here goes nothing. I actually do think Wrath of God, despite it hurting me, is probably one of the healthier cards for the format. Ah, You jerk. They missed it. One, two, three, four, treasure token. And a goblin got sacked. Do they have a... what happened? They sacked an instigator. I missed it. Do they have a prospector out and I just didn't see it? They did, didn't they? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, no, that's, that's, <laughs> Wee! goblins go, Wee! unfortunately, that's not something I can beat. What can you do? Not a whole lot there, unfortunately. That's a really, really, really good deck. I, I was, I was getting, like, consecutive, but win to win to win to win to win. And then I turn on the camera, and then not so much. Hi, carelessness. Let's hope you live up to your name, because otherwise, my record does not suggest I will do that well. Unfortunately. So we'll play the temple, get the Biomancer out. So that on the next turn I can play the island, threaten the discard... Uh, we'll see. So there, there's not really a need here. Let's see. I can get rid of the Jade Light Ranger, actually. No, let's get some more information from these branch walkers. 
Okay, there we go. We got a breeding pool. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually more inclined to think of Biomancer as a late game card to try to filter the card that you need and into your hand. Or just to get rid of some dead cards. Have too many lands? Turns out you have an outlet for them. Itchy nose is itchy. Alright, there we go. Dead Liliana Swamp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fire! Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we're doing it now. Fair enough. I, I guess that that's fair enough. Um, hmm. We don't have to just yet, so we'll we'll use this instead. Alright, Jade Light Ranger. Oh, hi Water Trap Weaver. That seems like an okay card for the matchup. If this is what I'm thinking it is. Actually, what kind of a Mardu deck doesn't run enough creatures that you would want oh, okay. Well well. In that case, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have a negative idea. Hmm. Depending on what we draw next turn, we might play the temple, scry, and then use bio- oh, okay. Well then. Uh. La 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 la. The one they already know about. Okay. So let's see what they have. What we have here. That's a speaker. Speaker seems all right. I think I should take the bird in the hand rather than the two in the bush. I would like to have collected company or to dig to a lord. But that is a creature. And we are playing against a Croxa deck. I guess I should hang on to it. We know that it's just going to get a counter if I do it now. Sure. We'll just get a 3-2 out. Speed up the clock ever so slightly. Alright, so 5, put him in 13. With two weavers in hand and a speaker coming down. Alright, what's it going to be? Woe Strider. Okay. I guess that that's fine. I constantly forget that it's only three mana for that thing. Good grief. Only one red mana, so far. Alright. Okay. Gee, I wonder what this one's going to target. Boop. Bip bop. Okay. And since they already know about it, and they're tapped out, might as well play it now. You know, I say that, they could have, what, Bantu's Last Reckoning or something. And we have already seen... Oh, they have double white. It could be Wrath of God deck. A Wrath of God deck with frantic, fanatical firebrand, though. That would be strange. Alright, so throw it under the bus. No. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Interesting. Maybe this is the Blood Artisan deck. It's Aristocrats, in other words. Maybe. Nine lives, oh god. Well, okay. Ah, uh, there that goes. Okay. Uh, how about we try this? See what we get? Is it anything we could possibly care for? Uh, discard a card. Yep, that one. That's the one. And then, say hi -yah. Mostly, I mean, the damage doesn't matter at this point. Alright. Then we end the turn. Uh, the game will constantly remind us that we can use Biomancer's ability again. It, it does not matter. 
Use it again and again as many times as you'd like. Only when the counter is put on does it let you draw and discard. But it lets us threaten something without having to hold full control. Or hold full control. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any lords, so that is the one that makes sense. And because they didn't sack these creature, this creature, oh, well, let's see. Well, everything is capable of killing the Woe Strider. So let's go to combat first. Hiya. Okay. Feel like jumping as well? Please? There we go. Alright, so... Sack it first. Oh, okay. Are, are they going to keep the Woe Strider? Uh... I don't know what all's in their hand, but that would be interesting. They don't have enough cards for Croxa yet in the yard. They have the red mana, but they don't have enough cards yet. So if they lose the Woe Strider, they'll only be one card away. Because this four counts the Croxa. So it goes to five. You need to be six counting the Croxa. Okay. So five mana Silver Gill Adept. Draw a card. It's a Trickster. So we should be okay. We should be a-okay here. Uh... Does that do anything when you have multiple copies? Okay. I... Uh, huh. Oh, clever. Okay, how many cards are in the yard still? Just five? Okay. They need one more. Unamas. Interesting. You can allocate them to go on one or the other. Interesting. I don't know that there's really a reason to use the Weaver here now. One, two, three. They can only take three. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. That's fine. Oh, but if they play Crocs, I lose the Weaver. So, ah, uh, that's game. Good game. Let's see. Is there any way that I can get out of this? There's no natural, there's no Rex Sage in this format, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's a drag. Unfortunately, it's a drag. I don't think that there's a way that I can do this. That's not it. Doesn't matter. They don't. So, the way that Solemnity works is that players can't get counters, but counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Which means no more counters can go on to nine lives, which means it can't be exiled from its own ability. I don't have any non targeted Rex Sage effects that I can use. And, on top of that, I am flying through my deck here, so I'm actually going to run out of cards before they will. On top of everything else... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Give him the oops. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Just play it out. Pass turn. So they still don't have enough for Croxa yet, but we are getting there. They are getting there awfully quickly. Ah, uh, for the life of me. Burglar Rat. Okay, that'll, that'll get rid of this. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
I wish there happened to be a way that I could check my deck list while I'm at it. 34, 44. Um, no, we don't, we don't have any way to do that. Good gang. Yeah, unfortunately we don't. If we had a way to get rid of the Solemnity, then we could win. I don't think that we do, not in the main board. And again, you can consider something in your sideboard for that, obviously. Uh, but, uh, hmm. I'm not sure what I could have done differently in that game. I'll have to go back and watch it. See, oh, hi, Crovox. I've played you before. Maybe on camera. I've played a lot off camera lately, though. So I guess I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so Temple first. That harbor comes in tapped, though, so we have to be careful. I'll actually put that to the bottom here. Oh, boy. Good times. Huh. That's a little bit risky, because if I don't find a land to turn it on, Hinterland Harbor is going to come in tapped, and then I won't have a play next turn. So that may have been... That may have been the wrong idea, the wrong move. Well, no, this is fine. I can just not play the Trickster here. It gives up a little bit of tempo. Alright. Hi, Miss Binder. Shh. Sure. Just go with the how many lords can we stack hand. Yeah, it's it's pretty obvious what I have going on here. I have a trickster hand. I have a trickster in my hand. Cool. Um I should probably start pretty soon. Let's see. It's not usually a removal-based color, but let's give it a shot. Or a color combination. We look for black and red for those. We look to black and red for those. I'm assuming this is just like Uro control. Oh, hello. Hmm. I'm assuming. If Uro sticks, we can beat it, thanks to these weavers, but... Oh, you know what? This could just be ramp. Banned ramp. Oh, hello. Shatter. Okay. There we go. So, Wrath, Settle, and Shatter are the ones that we anticipate finding. Alright. So, play you, and then pass the turn. Next turn, we'll be able to play Regery and Mistbinder. Drawn from Dreams. Oh, boy. Sorcery speed, four mana, dig through time. I'm already out of coffee, and I'm only one win in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, I guess. We are playing straight into a Wrath if I do, though. So I should not play the Mistbinder yet, I suppose. Alright, so untap you. Hmm. Okay, so we found a land. Let's see. Um, I guess I can play a Weaver here instead. I'll have Lethal next turn. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I guess we'll tap down this one, and tap down this one. Since the only one that can attack is Regery anyway... Ooh, oops, 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 oops. Oops. Okay. There's no way I could have gotten lethal that turn. Ah, uh, there's Shatter. Okay, so we played around that correctly. 
as best we could anyway. Alright. Mist binder. Mist binder. Speaker safe tra uh, water trap weaver for a blocker. And we're almost representing lethal here. One more lord and we are. They can't shock anymore. Unless they plan on winning that turn. Alright, so we swing, settle. There we go. Okay. I could have tried to divvy those up, done it in two attacks instead. That might have been better. Alright. Weaver, just to get a creature out. I'm trying, folks. I'm doing my best. I like playing Merfolk, but unfortunately, this is one of the issues. You're playing against a format full of uh, removal now, and that's not good. Es no bueno. So saving the land. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're they're getting through those cards pretty quickly. There's Uro. Oh, and I don't have a I don't have a field to make my opponent shuffle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. They get to draw again. So let's see. They've drawn for turn. Explore Uro Uro. They only have three more cards to go. And there's five. Alright, you win 0% of the games you concede, but it's not looking great. Yeah, there's Approach. Ah, uh, do they have the mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good game. They got me. They got me. I am genuinely having fun. I'm getting my butt kicked, but I'm having fun. I swear, the deck is better than this. If I could just go back in time and show you the, like, strings I was getting. Although, to be fair, as Omniket has been getting opened more and more, and people have more wild cards to get what they need, maybe the meta is just getting more developed. Mine was pretty much already established, I just needed the four Cocos. That may not be true for a lot of people. Maybe the, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. The really wrath-heavy shenanigans uh, needed a lot more wild cards to make work, and we're just living with that development. That makes sense. Oh, switching pets. Is that... I've never had a pet on here. Is that a thing you can do? You can just swap your pets in the middle of the game, or before the game begins? I, I don't spend money on free-to-play games, so... Uh, that's part of the fun for me, actually trying to get as good as I can without spending a penny. The one exception is a game that I played with my ex way back in college, so ten years ago. I am old. Young whippersnappers, I am old. Alright, there we go. Huh. Uh, Adept, reveal the least com- well, actually, reveal Adept. Because that's the next card we'll play in all likelihood. Alright, here we go. And then it'll be Adapt Reveal Speaker. Chart, of course. Oh boy. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're trying to dig to collect a company as quickly as we can. Oh boy. Okay. And then, hiya. Hit for two. Pass the turn. Stupid looking crown. It's a knight's helmet, but it's a crown. It's the stupidest looking. It's okay. It looks like a like if you tried to take one of those Burger King birthday crowns and made it a real thing. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why I'm being so needlessly harsh. Um. Hmm. So Jade Light can help to find a land. Could play a lord here and just go for as much damage as possible. I don't have another one drop. Yeah. I would like to be able to find another land though. Sure. 
Let's see what we have. Graveyard and land. Nope. Graveyard and ranger. Interesting. I'll actually shut that. Alright. So one. Two, because we have another silver gill adept. That's maybe not ideal. I'm trying to hold back on my lords. I, I feel a settle or a wrath coming. Every time I see these color combinations and they don't play a creature on their first two turns, that's totally what's going on. Totally. Or maybe because of Charter Cor Charter Course, maybe it's some weird reanimator thing. But Shalai is not a reanimator payoff, so I don't know what's going on, actually. I have no idea what's going on. Reanimate a Platinum Angel. Let's go. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There is a right answer here. Even without the land, it's company. Well, you know, they're at 16. Okay, actually, yeah, when they're at 16, I don't know what all's in their hand, so a Lord might be better. Hmm. Okay. And there's a little, well, kind of, kind of a land. Okay, so we play Mistbinder and then hit them for 5, 8, 14, put them to 2. Force everything thereafter to be lethal. Because of Collected Company, that's going to happen. Bang, 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 bang. And then play you. Oh, now I can find lands. Uh, let's shove that. Now that it doesn't matter. Because I can either play two, two drops, or a four drop. Alright, Wrath. Just do it. Nine lives. Oh, God. Not not this again. Not this again. Okay. Well, in that case, we need to spread our damage out, don't we? So, hi -ya. Um. This feels wrong. We'll see what I get. Let that determine my fate. Okay, I I think I should wait. I think I should hold back. Solemnity, I dare you. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Uh, cleansing note. Okay, okay. So. Trickster would be interesting, because whatever I keep there has a chance, or is one of the cards I can find. Uh, sure. It'll tap it down, if nothing else. And pass. So they have to know what's going on here. They see the company, they know I'm going to flash in some creatures. Alright. Maybe Charter Course is just there to dig for Solemnity. Ah, that's probably what's going on. Oh wait, let this resolve first. Yeah, they're, they're probably just digging for Solemnity at this point. Oh, I saw Kira! This is weird. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so we get Biomancer, Regery. Oh god, okay. Well... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, discard a land. Hit for two. Again. And play another creature out to get around spot removal. And now they don't know any cards in my deck. <laughs> um, I'll play it on the harbor. We already have enough to play both weavers, so I will pass the turn. Alright, can you do it? Can you do it? Do you have it? Do, 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 do you have it? Yeah, the Nine Lives Solemnity Wrath deck. It's not... Uh, if I adjusted my deck such that I had enchantment removal, it wouldn't be such a uh, god. Why? Yeah, uh, so Command the Dreadhorde. 
they can't, if a source would deal damage to you, this, this is not damage. I mean, this is damage, this isn't life loss. Despite being a black card, it's not life loss, it's damage. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. That explains the shalai. Well then, uh, okay, now I could really use that Tempest Caller that I took out to make room for Collective Company. Uh, folks, folks, I don't like where this is going. Jeez, they became a better Merfolk deck than I did, than I was. Uh, that's game. Give them the good game. Unfortunately, I can't. I, if I had a trickster, I could negate the Shalai, but I still wouldn't be able to actually finish them. Jeez, all right, we're gonna keep going, but I've been at this for 50 minutes and only gotten a win, and it was against a deck that mulled to zero. I swear this is better than it actually looks. All right, let's let's keep it going. I'll open some more packs once I get some more wins. D okay, DK dot RJ. DK, Donkey Kong. He's the le okay. You do know him well. Alright. Easy keep. It's a Luris deck, so that's fine. We can beat Luris, but... Ooh. Yeah, Luris, Yorian, occasionally like Karuga. Those are pretty much the only ones that I see nowadays. Uh, I still run Garuda in land destruction, but even then, I'm actually probably going to end up dropping it at some point. Uh, there is a combo I'd like to try in Historic, and it's available in Standard, too, where you play uh, Ral, Storm's Conduit, and Expansion, and you copy, you make a copy, using Ral's ability, of Expansion, which copies the previous one, wee, 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 and then every time you cast a copy, you deal one damage with Ral, so it's just infinite damage. Uh, since it's a land destruction deck, you can do more than just that one, but, oh, also, okay. Fair enough. Boop. Oh, jeez, that's right, that's right. That's right. All right, all right, all right. Selfless Savior. Oh, yeah, because it's a Luris deck. That's right. I know that this is supposed to be a good Dogo, but that tongue... Ugh. Okay. Okay. How about... You and you. If we need to, we can try to dig for a land for company. Hi, Ardenvale. All right. Let's see. What do you have? What do you... Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Taps the biggest creature down. Fair enough. Yeah, this is a... It's missing Core Spirit Dancer. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. All right, so swing for two with lifelink. Which seems pretty good against the creature aggro deck. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Well, the two creatures here can protect one another. There is that. Albeit at the cost of sacking themselves. Let's just try to lay the beads as quickly as we can. All right. That does not a winning strategy make, though, unfortunately. All right. Aha! There it is. With lifelink, too. Okay. Ooh! Also pretty good. Five. Uh-huh. All right. I swear. Oh, you know what? I could have... No, no. I was about to say, I could have tried to loot with Bendic Biomancer to try to find Merfolk Trickster, but I wouldn't have had the double blue with a land that comes in tapped, like Temple. Or not... Yeah, Merfolk Trickster. There we go. There's a Merfolk Looter, but that's not in Historic. That would have been an interesting card for Ixalan, but I'm glad that we got actual Merfolk instead of bad Jace Friends Prodigy. 
<laughs> Jason's prodigy is good merfolk leader. <sighs> oh, come on. I'm not doing Nick too proud over here. Sebastian Walker. Actually, the name at least is familiar. I'm pretty sure I've played you before. Yeah, yes, because of the Boondocks, the Boondocks Kaya sleeves. Best? Yeah, that's the best one. That's the best one. Okay. So, uh, huh. Just play Island and Pass. Yep. Hold it up. Threaten and opt or something. I need every edge I can get. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And there's no removal on this deck. Bang. Okay. Huh. Crap. Crap. Okay. If if we can hit we did not. Okay. That would have it would have been nice, but we, we did not. Alas. Oh well. Okay, so the black means sword will show up at some point, I believe. Legion's Landing. Oh, boy. Alright. Ah, okay. This just keeps getting better, folks. It just... keeps getting better. Take it. Bang. It's a lot of creatures. Dear God. Okay. Um, we can use Weaver to tap it down. They already know about the island, so might as well play that. We're not playing Ranger here anyway. Well, we can try, but they have way too many sources of lifelink. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Um, I can try to get them to sack the Allsate. Right. Tap it down, see what they do. Just, hmm. What do you feel like? Okay, so now they're not going to be able to transform Legion's Landing here. But we have to hold back. So Weaver and Branch Walker can stop a Johnny's Pride Mate, except there's Lurus in the main board. Yikes. Ah, uh, I swear. Okay, so there is a problem here. Merfolk is a fair deck, and fair decks do not do very well in unfair metas. And unfortunately, I think that that's where we find ourselves. Okay, no attacks. <coughs> and I'm very thoroughly out of coffee. Why, Merfolk, why? Alright, so, uh, needless to say, if I'm gonna do speed runs with, with Merfolk from here on, the, the try to get to 15 wins as quickly as possible, uh, this is not going to, th this, I cannot abide this. Getting this many losses in a row, that's a problem. Alright. So you clearly attack with the, oh, okay. Oh, not the Ascendant, interesting. Well, what's done is done. They will sack the Allseed. Give protection to Luris, as you do. Alright, there we go. It, they're going to be able to get it back anyway, so there's no reason not to here. I normally have my rule you win 0% of the games where you concede. I'm I'm going to I'm going to break that so that I can try to get some wins a little bit more quickly here. This is honestly getting a little bit frustrating. I'm still having fun, but it's getting frustrating. 
because I, I promise you, I have been getting win after win with this, but I think that there is actually some, there's some merit to the case that people have been able to spend more wild cards to optimize their decks, whereas mine was already there. So I got an early boost, I got a little bit of a sugar high uh, from only needing four wild cards to make my deck. And then all these others are getting <laughs> all the cards that they need. Alright, Ninja. Haven't played you before, at least not that I recall. Let's see. Ah, keep. Easy. Easy money! Shouts to anyone who gets that. Shouts to anyone who watches Smash Bros. Melee. Alright. Obvious play is obvious. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to hang on to that one. Alright. Uh, play the Adept, reveal Adept, draw a card, draw a card, oh, hi, Rejury, okay. We'll see what my next draw gives me, whether I'll play another Adept or a Rejury. There's a land, okay, so we will play a Rejury instead, then. Try to crank out as much damage as possible. Alright, hiya! And later on it'll let us puke out more merfolk. Including with merfolk trickster puking them out at the end of our opponent's turn. Uh oh. I already don't like where this is going. Mindstone, uh oh. Well, I want to be careful. go. Hit for a bit. Twelve. In turn. We even have the Merfolk Trickster, so there's not really a reason to... We, we can play both of them, even though we have green mana. Uh, we have a basic forest, because Redray will let us untap one. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. Five mana. Cleansing Nova. Elspeth conquered CMC 3 or greater. Okay, well, I know which one that is. That's a bit of a bummer. Hmm. Alright. Well, it is what it is. It's okay. Regery Mistbinder, probably. Yeah. Just damage. Damage, damage, damage. All right. Bang, bang, bang. Um. Even if they wrath, at least we'll get a card changed out. I kind of want to tap that down. But no, let's do the... Oh, get out of the way. Let's do the correct thing here. All right. And then draw. Cool. Play that. Miss Binder on top. Cool. And pass the turn. Alright. All non-creatures in my deck, so all collected companies. And even then I can still play. That's what we were thinking. So that's game. Good game? Right? Crossing Fingers Hidden Dragon. Hey, okay, okay. We got there. Whew, we got there. Okay, finally! That took forever. I'm sorry about that, folks. That took forever. <laughs> Alright, so now let's open up another pack. And I'd like to try for Ikoria. See which Triland I get this time, with my luck. Oh, we get a second Ruinous Ultimatum. So not a, not a Triland, but it uses those colors. Uh, yeah. I should build a deck around this at some point. Should go for it. Alright. Here we go. Merfolk time. Keeping it, keeping it going. <laughs> Even that felt kind of close, though, to be honest. One of the joys of Collected Company is that you can play through Wraths. If they Wrath your board, you can play afterwards. 
Uh, yeah, we keep. We're actually going to play this first, unfortunately. Give my opponent the hello. DK's banana. There we go. Uh, huh. Okay. Whale. Merfolk. Play... Adept. Reveal... What's the... I mean, it, they already know it's going to be played. Sh sure. Reveal the Mistbinder. Probably should have been Biomancer, actually. But it's a Merfolk deck. They're already going to play around. Play with some removal. Waste not. Oh, hi. It's, it's 8 rack. Well, not 8 rack. It's rack. Davriel. Okay. So the modes here are they're going to gain mana, which doesn't sound all that great. Creature or non creature. Mana. Okay. So the only modes here that matter. I'm not getting rid of that company. Period. Um. Let's let them have some mana. One of the issues with that, though... Okay. Enters the battle... Ah, that's that was the issue I was about to discuss. Is that it can make me do this. It can actually chain them together. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Well... Miss Binder, and then they get a zombie. That was, that was pretty good. I'll give them that. That was pretty good. Would you like to trade both of yours? No, no, no. It's a 3-2, Jay. It's a 3-2, you idiot. Why did you just do that? Why did you just do that? Focus, focus, Jay. I'm already out of coffee. I'm going to blame that. Okay. Yeah, I should have waited because I had a reach. Oh, jeez. A regery coming. Uh, company is the correct answer, obviously. Alright, then they get to draw. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah! So I think I need to play the company here so that they can't make me discard it. It's never where you want to be, where you'd like to be, uh, but I think it's the right thing to do here. And then Adept to let me keep drawing cards. Oh, God. Well, okay, let's just find all the companies. Jeez. I mean, we'll take it for sure. Waste not. That is, that is quite the card. Lord of the Accursed. Plus one, plus one. Okay. Cool. As the evangelist would say, cool, dude. Uh-huh. So I can fire off company again, or I can go with the one I know I have, which is Regery. Uh, actually, even if I miss Lords, I can still find Water Trap Weaver. Oh, but we didn't. So, double Regery. Dear God. All right. They can dump both of them into killing the Mistbinder. Well, I just said Miss Binder. It should be Regery. If they're going to do that, they should do it into the Regery. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they can play Bontu's Last Reckoning in this deck. I wouldn't be surprised at all. In which case, I have Adept and Regery, which is lethal on the next turn if I can find a land in the next two draws. Okay, do you have it? Okay, so it was a zombie, right? It was a zombie jackal, so they got to draw a card. Alright, make me discard something. And obviously it's going to be add up, because there's a chance I can't even cast it if I don't find... Well, if I don't find a land, I won't be able to play it. If I find another merfolk, I'll be able to play it. If I find collected company, I'll play that instead. Um, so maybe I'm supposed to dump the Regery here. No, because I can definitely cast the Regery. And then I can use Regery to tap down enough of their creatures. So we're, that's fine. 
Okay. Uh, Waste Not Zombies. I guess that's pretty cool. It's waiting for Davriel to show up, though. Aha! Ta-da! Okay. So, as, as expected, go from a losing streak to consecutive wins, but I have quite a few wins that are needed to make up for that. That went on for a while. Uh, oh, well, you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, pack. Pack. I remembered. I remembered. Took me a sec. Alright, so let's see what's in here. Core 2021. Okay, how's that my first sight? Uh, another standard bearer. Okay. Hi, Dreadmaw. <laughs> okay, and, and a tutelage. I have enough uncommons. I'm sure I could just make that deck if I just felt like it, I suppose. Uh, as for what I'll get next, let's wait until after this. I may want to dwell on that a bit. Hmm. As much as I like Omniket, I'm almost certainly not going to actually get packs from it since they can only be used in Historic, and yet they cost the same amount. I'll probably just end up getting more Ikoria. Um, I could try to find Luris, that would be nice. Uh, try to get more Trilands. A Taxi War Dance. Okay. Cool. Alright. So you've seen the utility of Biomancer. There's a reason why it's still in this deck. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this, this is awfully slow, but hopefully we can make it work. I don't, I don't think I've played against a taxi before, so I don't know what they might be on. Let's try this out. Hello. See if we can find Coco or a Lord, anything. I don't even know that they're on a creature, and there they are. Okay, cool. Hi, cat. Hi, kitty cat. Neuter Priest. I may wish to save that, then. Alright, let's let them attack first. Alright. Oh, you know what? I should have cut off the lifelink here. Yeah, I should have cut off their lifelink. I don't know that they're a removal deck, to any extent. I do certainly have a temptation to play Kapala just in case. I will, just in case. I'm giving up one point of damage, I think that that's fine. It is a black deck, so like, Heartless, Cruelty, something like that. Another cat. Hi there. Aha, and then they get to gain one life. That art, dang. Alright. So let's see. How about Regery? Lord? Lord, oh lord. Uh, tap down your 1 3. And then attack, and it doesn't matter. Hiya. There we go. Now, is this just a value deck, or is there actually a combo in here? Huh. Whenever another creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on her. When she dies, put X... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just take it. So this is just an, another creature. If I would be, if I were to block, it would just be the cat. Oh boy, that's a that's a weird one. I'll say, mm, no blocks. Oh hi, hello. All right. So you. Ta da. And then you, Regery first, tap you down, and then use the ability on you. 
hi ya, and that's lethal. Ta da! And then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly I get the last three wins I need. I usually only play to four. I, I've said this before, but it's because you get gold on your first four, and you get a decent bit 250 and then 100 three times. But then you go card 50, card 50, card 50, card 25, card 25, card. So it, it drops pretty drastically after that point. So I have 5,000, and I do need to save some just in case we get like an interesting daily deal. So then what packs will I get? Let's see. But yeah, we'll try Ikoria. I'll, I'll open them one at a time, actually. Just in case getting what I need ends up changing it. Sky... Okay. Another Sovereign. That's fine. Huh. Okay. Other than that, though, I guess that could have been better. That's alright. Let's try again. Here we go. And then maybe I'll do one more. Making sure to keep at least 2,000 in the bank. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, wait, but I already have one. Yeah, I'll do one more, actually. I'll do one more then. All right. Here goes nothing. Or save this for the next video just to tease people. No. All right. What is it? Another ruinous ultimatum. Okay, Richard Garfield is telling me something. <laughs> no. But maybe I should try to burr around this. Maybe. Huh. Another great horn. That's nice. While I'm pulling this up real quick, uh, Migratory Great Horn. I've actually tried playing in Popper Infect lately. It's fun. It's, it's silly. Don't do that to yourself. So I only have one of the Triome for it, though, and I am not going to use wild cards on a land that's in a pack that I'm opening pretty frequently. I'm going to wait. Uh, there's a decent enough chance that I'll end up getting some number. I'm just not going to worry about it. Plus, I don't have that many rare wild cards anyway. 13 Mythic, 5 rare. <laughs> Alright. That's, that's it for now, I guess. Uh, I was really hoping I could find some lures so I could show you shenanigans in, coming up, but, oh well, show you shenanigans for the next video, right? That's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!